The Layer Channel in FL Studio allows you to build sounds utilizing multiple sound sources all triggered from a single channel in the step sequencer. The sound sources can be made up of any sample channel, any fruity plugin generator, any VSTi or DXi generator, and even any rewire MIDI channels that you might have running. Although all the different sounds are controlled by a single layer channel, you still have the benefit of the control that exists within each sound's individual channel settings. Insert a layer channel by going to the channels menu, choose add one and then select layer. Channels are assigned to the layer channel by selecting all the channels you want to be layered by right clicking the selection button for each one of them. Then in the layer channel settings, click on the set children button. Now when MIDI is played through the layer channel, all child layers will sound. You can also record MIDI sequences into the layer channel and these will play back in your project. Note that selecting any of the individual channels will still allow you to play them separately to the layer channel even though they are currently part of the layered set. If you want to remove a channel from the layer set then just reselect the channels that you want to remain in the set and click the set children button again. Any channels not selected will be unassigned from the layer set. The layer channel settings box contains four quick automation knobs at the top. These are global controls that affect all layered channels. Pan, Volume, Cut and Res. Note that these, along with the crossfade function which I'll be talking about shortly, only affect channels that contain any of FL Studio's inbuilt generators. If you use any third party VSTi or DXi plugins, they will have no effect. Pan will adjust the stereo spectrum of the layered sound. Vol will alter the volume by up to 200%. This allows you to mix the individual sounds to taste and then adjust the volume globally with lots of headroom. Cut affects the cutoff frequency of the filter and res the resonance. The great thing about these global controls is that they make automation of the individual components much easier as you only have to automate one parameter as opposed to automating as many as you have layer channels. The show children button in the layering section below will select all channels that are attached to the layer channel. Beneath that is the random button, which will cause different sounds to play randomly every time you play a new note. This is useful if, for example, you have a set of drum sounds in your layer and you want to achieve some more organic sounding variants in the choice of sample played. Beneath that is the crossfade switch. This will allow you to use the fade wheel over on the right to crossfade between each of the child sounds. As you move the wheel from left to right, you will fade into each sound according to the order that it is placed in the step sequencer. The first will fade into the second, then the second will fade into the third, and so on. Left to right corresponds with top to bottom in the sequencer. This can be useful for all sorts of effects, one of which could be the emulation of wave sequencing synthesis. You could also use it to fade between different drum sounds, for example hi-hats moving from closed hi-hat sounds to progressively more open sounds. You'll probably get the best results of this if you link the fade control to a knob or a slider on your MIDI controller, for example the modulation wheel. Other options for the layer can be accessed by clicking on the layer options button. The split children command will assign each child channel to a single key across the keyboard starting from the layer channel's root note. It will also adjust the root key of the children so that they will be pitched properly. This works well when you want to quickly create a drum map across a range of keys, or to create instruments where each note uses a different sample. Having said that, you can use the layer channel to control sounds each having their own key range, like a multi-sampled instrument. To do that, define the key region in each sound's channel settings. When you play through the layer channel, each sound will be triggered whenever you play a key within its defined range. Under the split children command is the group children command. Selecting this will place all child channels into their own group that can be accessed from the channel display filter at the bottom of the step sequencer window. The delete children command will remove all child channels from your FL Studio project. The channels will be selected and a dialog box will inform you of their impending deletion.